like I said, I, if you guys, I was going to start this off um, and just tell Tony, thanks for getting on and kind of doing this little part. I know it was kind of last minute. We started, you know, kind of broadcasting out on Monday, but, you know, with everybody being home and self-distancing and all that social distancing, all that kind of good stuff, um, we figured it'd be a good time to do a little bit of learning. Um, so, so Tony's going to go through like the outdoor TV options, how to make money with them, how, you know, what's, what, how to overcome objections for the price points and all that kind of good stuff. If you guys have any questions <clears throat> under your controls, there's the chat log and you can type your questions in right there. So that way we don't have people looking over the, over the video, but, um, but then we can let Tony talk and then he can answer questions on the chat log. So, um, but anyways, we'll let Tony get started and, uh, we'll go from there. You just share your screen, Tony. Very good. Getting her set up here. So, um, yeah, and, and the focus will be outdoor TVs, but I always like to introduce and for those familiar with Sierra, reintroduce who we are, uh, just so everyone kind of has a, a good sense of, of who Sierra is. So, um, cause it's more than just outdoor TVs, but, but that is the focus of this morning's webinar. So this shouldn't go more than two or three hours with another hour of question and answer. I'm kidding. I mean, probably about a half hour here. So appreciate everyone's time and jumping on board. So Sierra's all about the perfect harmony of technology and design. Um, that's, that's really the core of everything that we do. Like I said, I'll go through a company overview. Uh, talk about the Sierra home in general, kind of what our core is, and then uh, again, specifically with outdoor TVs. So, and if you do have questions throughout, please please let us know. Yeah, chime in through the chat, or um, if it's real pressing, I don't mind being interrupted. So, no problem. So, we are based in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We are a U.S. manufacturer, up and running, declared an essential business, just like our the AV industry is essential. Um, and we are serving essential industries. So our, um, our production staff is up and running, fulfillment is up and running. Uh, so no worries there to be able to, uh, to, get, to get those projects going. I, I know we're seeing a lot of you know, unease and, and some things are getting delayed, but at the same time, I'm also hearing from a lot of folks saying, hey, I'm stuck at home, I need this stuff yesterday. Uh, so we're, we're here for that. We actually started in a garage uh, back in 2003, uh, Tim Gretchen Gilbertson, our co-founders and current owners, um, started this company in a garage. So it's pretty cool that we've moved to a large manufacturing facility in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The name Sierra was inspired by the French Impressionist George Seurat. So if you've ever seen the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off, you see Ferris's buddy Cameron in the Chicago Art Museum. He's staring at this painting. Well, this is Seurat's famous painting. And there's a scene where it zooms in and you actually see that this painting was created with dots. It was a method called pointillism. So think of that as pixels on a TV. So walk into our factory office and here you see a pixelated snapshot of that uh, part of that painting. Walk back and it blends together, you know, as a smooth image. So kind of a cool story there. We didn't want to call ourselves the TV mirror company because with Sierra, it's, you know, we are, are broader in, in what we do, but our start was certainly TV mirrors and mirror technology and we've expanded uh, to products like outdoor TVs. I always like to share our, our customer list. Um, the customer list is, you know, just really there to in, inspire confidence. You know, you say if Disney trusts us, you can trust us. Um, trust me on that one, I've worked with them. Um, but uh, whether it's hundreds of outdoor TVs in NFL stadiums or uh, hundreds of thousands of lighted mirrors in hotels or TV mirrors in, in uh, you know, homes or high-end restaurants, you know, we have a broad product category to, to provide different uh, degrees of technology. The full product lineup and evolution started with vanity TV mirrors. Like I said, that started in 2003. Um, actually, uh, it was a parade of homes. Our, Tim and Gretchen were going through parade of homes and someone had a, a rudimentary two-way mirror in front of a TV. Um, they said, you know what, this is the buzz of the show though and people really dig this, so let's see if we can make this right. And they did. Uh, so vanity TV mirrors are really where we got our start. 
very quickly. Folks wanted those to be bigger, put in a living area application. So we developed our entertainment glass, which the difference between entertainment TV mirrors and vanity TV mirrors, entertainment glass is TV first, mirror second, whereas vanity glass would be mirror first, TV second, you know, as far as what that application needs. Certainly high quality glass in, in both categories and high quality displays in both categories as well. Lighted mirrors, which is probably the number one volume producer that we, that we do, um, that was driven by hotel projects where folks wanted uh, lighting to be included with their TV mirror. So we developed actually the lighted TV mirror first, but then due to budgetary constraints, they said, uh, you know what, we gotta ditch this. Oh, but by the way, how much would it be if we just did the lighted mirror? Which was offensive to take the TV out of the mirror for the TV mirror company, but we did it and the lighted mirror was born. And so that's, that's where we're producing tens of thousands of those a year. Um, huge opportunity that's trickled from the residential, or I should say from the hospitality industry into the residential market as people experience those more and more as they travel. Hydra indoor waterproof TVs, uh, a really cool product category, makes the TV and appliance in the kitchen. So think of a microwave, right? Like people used to put a few hundred bucks for a microwave, put it on the counter as an afterthought. They're not doing that anymore these days. They're spending a few thousand dollars probably and if not one, two microwaves built in to that kitchen design. And that's what the Hyder provides uh, as an opportunity with, with the TV and the kitchen space as well. From there, outdoor TVs were introduced about eight years ago from Ciro. Um, so that was a few generations ago. Um, and those really were driven from our Hydra, indoor waterproof TVs. They look great, they were waterproof. People asked for them to be bigger and put outside. So we developed dedicated outdoor TVs as a again, best in class solution, high design, high performance. You know, we've evolved to having multiple categories with our outdoor TVs and I'll get into more of those details later. And then finally our smart mirrors, kind of a leading technology for the bathroom space, uh, bringing that connected home experience into the bathroom. So the Sierra home, and the, the broader opportunity with Sierra is really providing video solutions throughout the home, inside and outside, where regular TVs don't go. So it's, it's a complementary solution. It's just like you're not putting a two-channel audio system in every room of the home. You have architectural um, you know, series speakers and things like that, that 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 can go in those different spaces. It's, it's similar to video with Sierra, where it's high design video or maybe dedicated you know, functionality with a hydro indoor waterproof TV, or mo most notably, as we're gonna be discussing here, our outdoor TVs. Designed for that space, for that application, where an indoor TV cannot go. And then doubling down on that, just the bathrooms throughout the home. We have different degrees of vanity mirror technology from lighted TV mirrors, TV mirrors, smart mirrors, to lighted mirrors on their own. Every bathroom needs lighting, every bathroom needs a mirror, a lighted mirror is a superior solution. <coughs> Excuse me. So just going through some images of the product categories that we have, you know, it's we have tools, you don't have to memorize details, we have tools that walk you through those details, um, but wanna make sure that you see some of the possibilities, you know, so it's tailored solutions for some of these spaces. Um, you know, here's a high-end, restaurant now that without the TV mirrors, they're only able to sell a plate of nachos for 10 bucks. Now they can sell them for 20. So it's an investment. Just creates a totally different atmosphere for that space. Bring that into the home uh, for that back bar experience. Again, it's really providing video solutions where a mirror would often go, maybe a TV, but it's combining that into that application. And then our smart mirrors. So again, that's leading technology into the bathroom space serves as a TV mirror as well. And then why Sierra TV mirrors? Really comes down to the glass, always has, always has. So, so the quality of our vanishing glass is top notch. That's a pass fail application. You know, that is a mirror that you're using day in and day out, um, you know, from a functional standpoint. I, I kind of joke, I see our, our products work best when off sometimes. But, but that is, you know, a true differentiator. So 
in the quality of the glass, but certainly in the quality of the electronics within that category to provide an optimal experience. And then the real opportunity with that bathroom application are if you start with a lighted TV mirror, you've now expanded your scope throughout the home, where in that master bathroom, you're providing just an optimal experience for your customer, but driving that, at, that opportunity to talk about lighting, lighted mirrors throughout the home. So that's just a big, huge growth category. Lighted mirrors and outdoor TVs are the two huge growth drivers. So I, I believe we have a lighted mirror uh, you know, dedicated webinar coming down the line as well here. So, so we can dig more into that at that time or offline as needed. But moving on to our hydro indoor waterproof TVs, like I said, makes a TV and appliance in the kitchen, um, matches the appliance in there at two to 3,000 retail. It's the most affordable appliance in that space. It was originally designed to go in the shower or the, you know, the, the foot of a tub. You know, a place where, again, I'm not putting a toaster at the base of my tub. I'm not putting a high voltage TV there either. The Hydra is certified to UL standards for these applications. Last thing you do before a company comes over, jump in the shower. And now you can, you know, you utilize that monitor as your, uh, that TV as your, you know, security monitor or sit and watch a movie in the shower for two hours while your company waits for you. Why not? Keep your social distancing, right? So that's kind of the overview of everything indoor, now jumping into outdoor. So I'll start with the how. The how to utilize your outdoor TVs to maximize your opportunity with that outdoor space really comes down to the questioning when you are exploring that outdoor space. And what you wanna ask is how and where do you spend your time outside? If you start the conversation with, do you want a TV outside? You've just eroded that into their mindset is, do you want to take an indoor TV and stick it under this covered protected area here? And maybe you don't even spend your time out there. So they don't necessarily even value having video in that space, or at least not investing in good video because they're not spending their time there. Same with audio. You say, you know, do you want speakers outside? They're thinking a couple Marine speakers stuck underneath the soffit. And if they're 100 feet away over by their fire pit, they just need to crank the, crank the sound up or bring a boom box with them, right? They don't understand the solutions that exist. Whereas when you say, how and where do you spend your time outside? Certainly, and they might say, we just hang out under here underneath the pergola. Um, but they often will say, we spend 90% of our time out by the pool. That's why we invested in it. And when you can establish that area of where they're trying to experience their outdoor space, that's where you can bring up solutions like ultra bright outdoor TVs. This is another pass fail application with our products. An indoor TV cannot go here. An introductory level in outdoor TV cannot go in that space. We have outdoor TVs for shaded applications or shade series TVs. And we have our ultra bright outdoor TVs for any lighting application, including direct sun. So it's important to note that they're both weatherproof. But what makes the ultra bright unique is they're also sunproof. So I'll get into a little bit of why they're sunproof. But at the end of the day, just know that the backlighting level, you'll, you'll hear nits as being, um, you know, how bright is a TV and it's qualified in nits. So like our ultra brights go up to a thousand a thousand nits. You'll find indoor TVs that can exceed that. Not that that's going to be comfortable viewing. You'll never actually want to um, have that TV cranked up beyond that, uh, especially in an indoor or shaded application. But it's not about the brightness of the TV that allows you to put it in direct sunlight or have that flexibility with where you put that TV. It's about some of the key factors that are uh, key elements that are unique to the ultra bright outdoor TVs. And I'll, like I said, I'll get into that a little bit when I dive into the ultra brights. So why Sierra outdoor TVs in general? You have the, the largest, sleekest design. So again, perfect harmony of technology and design translates into our outdoor TV categories as well. So from 42, 43 up to 86, we have outdoor TVs available. Best picture quality, 4K HDR. We're trying to bring the indoor viewing experience outside to the greatest extent possible. Sound solutions. 
Now, certainly you have the opportunity to integrate your audio however you want, whether it's a, you know, distributed landscape type system or whatnot. But, you know, we also recognize that folks want a good audio system directly connected to the TV. So our ultra brights have an optional soundbar available with them. Um, very high quality premium Bluetooth soundbar. Um, and then the shade series TVs actually come with a soundbar. So just trying to provide that value with that. And I'll get into some more of those details. And then from a warranty standpoint, how many days, much less years, is an indoor TV warranted for outdoor use? Exactly zero, right? There isn't one day that that TV is warranted for outdoor use. And when we're looking at these markets that have a lot of heat and humidity fluctuations, a lot of moisture maybe, even in those covered shaded applications, you want a dedicated outdoor TV for the warranty, you want that peace of mind. Um, and we have the best warranty in the industry at a full two year warranty for outdoor use for both our shade TVs and our ultra bright outdoor TVs. So just kind of going through some install images, like I said, up to an 86. And those are an 86 ultra bright, 22,000 retail. Awesome, right? Every day, all day long. Um, probably one of the toughest products that we have to keep in stock because when you get to that level of investment with your outdoor space, you just want the biggest and the best. It is a four wheel drive Ferrari, um, that, that 86 ultra bright outdoor TV. So 55, 65, 86 within the ultra brights. Again, this is an application that we're seeing here that yes, we're providing quality performance, but it's also pass fail in that product will survive in that application. So again, weatherproof, but also sunproof. So again, why is the ultra bright able to go in those direct sun applications, those fully exposed applications? It's because our patent pending adaptive picture technology from a performance standpoint. So like I said, we can go up to a thousand nit brightness with the backlighting, but as you transition through the day into the night, you definitely don't want that level of intensity with the backlighting. So that automatically and seamlessly adjusts that backlighting level for comfortable, comfortable viewing. But as you're ramping back up to high noon the next day, it's also adjusting the contrast ratio so you don't get washout. So optimal color saturation, um, optimal backlighting level for optimal performance. But even more important to that is our active airflow system. So the active airflow system that's available with the ultra brights, that's what allows those electronics of the TV. It's not an enclosed, it's not like we're enclosing a TV. It is a dedicated TV, but it has heating and cooling elements to make sure that those components uh, uh, are temperature regulated. So even if the TV's off, as long as it's plugged in and the active airflow settings are appropriate, those those elements are going to work to make sure that the, the electronics don't fry. Like I said, you could have a two to 3,000 nit TV in the direct sun application, but if you don't have the heating and cooling elements of the active airflow system, the TV will fry. And it doesn't have to be on, it's gonna heat up in the direct sun. So that's where the ultra bright is so critical for those applications. It really gives flexibility. But then even looking at the shade series TVs, you know, like I said, a lot of heat and humidity fluctuations, a lot of moisture and even those covered shaded applications. Uh, but the shade series TV is warranted for two years for that outdoor use, providing a, a dedicated sound bar. So from a design standpoint, it fits that TV. It's good quality, uh, all in one value. Um, there's certainly, you know, significant price points between the ultra bright and the shade TV. And that's because at the, you know, with the shade TV, Someone's looking for some value. You know, you're selling down to that. Because again, you're establishing the, the opportunity to experience video anywhere in that outdoor space you know, by asking that question again of how and where are you spending your time outside. And if they do say, well, I want a TV in the shaded application, but you know, I, I don't want to invest in an ultra bright. Okay, no problem. That's where a shade series TV is there. So at least you still have that confidence with a dedicated outdoor TV for that space. So like I said, best warranty in the industry within this category, um, full two year warranty and backed by our technical support team um, and, and our, our sales support team in, in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So we have our shade outdoor TVs and our ultra bright outdoor TVs. 
And excuse me one moment. And stop that uh, that beep in there. So, um, so what we're seeing here is our full lineup that's gonna be available later this summer. And I just wanna introduce that to you to know what we have rolling. So right now we do have some, you know, legacy outdoor TVs from 42 inch and up. So with outdoor TVs and the, that busy season starts now, that's why we're talking about this right now. Within the shade series, we have our SHD 155s and SHD 165s immediately available. There's also SHD 175s immediately available. So. Um, that, that 43 inch shade TV, you know, I do have some 42 inch uh, TVs for some applications um, that you might need right now, no problem. Um, you know, and you see these price points and they're gonna be consistent with whether it's an SHD one or SHD two um, with that soundbar included with the shade TV. So tremendous value relative to what you're looking at here. Um, you know, I know, you know, James mentioned is like, hey, how to make more money selling dedicated outdoor TVs. Even in a shaded application, when you look at you know the price points and, and where those margins fall in um, to things, even same percentage margin, give or take, you know what you're looking at, you're still definitely looking at uh, higher dollars, you know, and providing your client that peace of mind of they have a dedicated outdoor TV. <coughs> Excuse me. With the ultra brights, boy, that's that's really where where it's uh, to be made. And again, it's pass fail solution. So folks are investing in in ultra bright because they have the opportunity to experience video in those applications where they wouldn't otherwise be able to uh, to to put video. Uh, like I said, just like sound, you know the expanded sound options uh, that are out there. Don't assume that your clients do. Don't assume that your specification and trade partners do. You know, we do presentations to landscape contractors because they appreciate knowing what's there with how to design their outdoor space. So shade series TVs, again, it's exactly what the name is. We don't want this to be a boomerang product for you, so we named it the shade series TV. So it is designed for shaded applications. Um, but again, it is warranted for that outdoor use. It's recognizing that you might get moisture in there. It's fully weatherproof, um, you know, but it's still a value-driven product, best-in-class affordability, um, you know, for that affordable, kind of level of outdoor TVs with best in class design, it's a Sierra, best in class performance with the brightness of the picture within that category, best in class sound with the, with the sound bar that's included with that and best in class two year warranty. So the main competitive solution uh, only has a one year warranty within that space. An indoor TV is probably gonna get you through a season, but you're, no one wants to deal with having to replace that every year, bringing it in, you know, at different seasons, it can be left outside your realm. This actually brings up a really good point. So when people see these TVs in these exposed environments, they are wondering, first two questions I always get, you know, and this is where we can't assume that folks really understand the opportunities available with this is, can it be left outside year round and can it get rained on? Those are always the first two questions. Of course, the answer is yes to both. They're made to be left outside year round for that flexibility and convenience and get rained on. Again, they're also sunproof when you're looking at that ultra bright outdoor TV. So really cool design with the ultra brights. You see that reflective side panel um, that's designed to minimize that standoff. So very unique design, um, very high quality bright picture with that high backlighting. But again, with the adaptive picture technology, providing the best performance relative to the lighting conditions. Uh, we do have an awesome optional soundbar. It's optional because a lot of times with those applications, that ultra bright outdoor TV is gonna be coupled maybe with a, a more expansive landscape type audio system, no problem. Um, but man, you know, when you pair that with, uh, at Cedia last year, so we actually um, teamed up with, with Coastal Source for the Destination Backyard, a very complimentary co company. Um, and there was in a fully exposed environment, we had an 86 ultra bright and they set up like a 5.1, uh, you know, system and you'd watch a movie outside and it trumped most indoor home theaters. It was so cool to have that video coupled with high end audio in that, in that, uh, that application. It's, it's really, really fun with what you can provide for that outdoor space. 
And then uh, again, with the warranty, full two year warranty on that. So finding the outdoor display for your space. Again, Shade Series TVs for that affordable value driven uh, solution. You know, if someone's like, well, I know I get it, the ultra bright's best in class, but we're just looking for something that's a little more affordable for that space, no problem. That's where the Shade Series TV comes in. That's where we're driving that value by including the soundbar and then ultra bright. That's where it's, hey, people do not know that that opportunity exists, but once you entertain that with them, you'll have a lot of success. Uh, the Sunbright Outdoor TV is probably our number one, um, you know, alternate solution that's out there. Um, you know, they, they provide a dedicated outdoor TV. That's one thing to be careful. You'll see a lot of outdoor TVs out there, but a lot of times it's just a Samsung sealed or weatherproof, you know, like, or weatherized, I should say. It's not even fully weatherproof. So you want to be real careful with some of the solutions that you will find out there. Um, like I said, boomerang products are, is kind of that, what, what, fo how folks would describe some of that stuff. Um, you know, so you want to dedicate, dedicated outdoor TV. This nice chart here really shows the why a Sierra outdoor TV, um, from an ultra bright standpoint, it almost lives on its own. There's really nothing that's kept up with those. Um, just the phenomenal solution from a design standpoint, performance and durability standpoint. And then the Shade Series TVs was developed, um, you know, Sunbright came out with the veranda. Uh, they're, you know, Sunbright's owned by Snap AV and they came out, excuse me, with the veranda series, you know, very low price points, um, trying to compete with an indoor TV though. It's like, instead of doing an indoor TV outside, at least do this, the Shade Series TV is best in class relative to that application. So, and then uh, kind of circling back, you know, full steam to the, why, why Sierra again providing video solutions throughout the home, inside and out, where regular TVs can't go, and uh, and again mirrored solutions throughout. So again, with that focus on outdoor TVs, the time is right. You know, it's it's a uh, the economy is always cyclical, and when you look at 08, this is really where the outdoor industry took off. People wanted their outdoor space expanded. Um, because it became another living area. They're upside down in their homes. They couldn't, they couldn't go get a bigger home. So they moved outside to create more space, outdoor furniture, outdoor appliances, outdoor AV. So this is the opportunity with Sierra with the outdoor AV. Um, you know, appreciate your time. You know, at this time, want to take, uh, take an opportunity to address any questions that you might have. So we got a couple on the chat side here. So um, do, 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 for a while, the Shade 55 was out of stock. Is it back in stock now? So the Shade 55 is available for order. They're going to start shipping in April, which it is April today. Holy cow, it's April Fool's Day too. But so Shade 55 is available to order. You'll have them within a month or so. Um, do the TVs have internal speakers? Do you need a soundbar or external speakers? Great question. <coughs> the TVs, our outdoor TVs, both the Shade TVs and the Ultra Brights do not have internal speakers. Um, that's why with the Shade TV, we provide the soundbar as, you know, to really drive that value. Because if you're looking for a value-driven solution, um, you know, to say, oh, there isn't a speaker option. Well, no, there is. It's the soundbar. And with the Ultra Brights, we have that optional soundbar. Um, how much is the soundbar for the ultra bright? Uh, depends on the size. So a 55, I want to say is you're looking at anywhere from the 55 up to the 86, about 1300 retail up to, I want to say about 1900 retail. So, um, yeah. So anywhere from, I want to say 1300 retail up to, uh, about 1900 retail for the ultra bright soundbar. So that is a premium performance soundbar, uh, Bluetooth capable. Uh, so some flexibility with how that's used outside. HDMI options for receiving signal. So the SHD1 outdoor TVs, they're obviously going to have HDMI input, um, but the control is going to be IP. Um, 
base IR as far as they have an IR emitter. When the SHD2s come out um, mid-late summer, there you're looking at dedicated IR, RS-232, and IP. Um, as far as, and in, in the reason I'm going through that control option is the, so both Ultrabrights and Shade TVs have HDMI inputs. The Ultrabrights have a built-in HD base T. So Ultrabrights are very robust in their integration capabilities, IP, IR, RS-232, built-in HD base T. Um, did I mention the promo going on? So there's a promo going on for our lighted mirrors. So quick shift to the, the mirror technology. Um, now through May, if you order a vanity TV mirror, and we discussed that kind of on the front end, if you order a vanity TV mirror now through May, you get a free 24 by 36 lumen lighted mirror. Ideal for a showroom, show home. Um, like I said, those lighted mirrors are a huge growth opportunity. Um, the number one growth opportunity for indoor, like the outdoor TVs are obviously a huge growth opportunity for outdoor. Um, okay, are they smart TVs? No, no, um, none of these TVs are smart TVs. Um, the end, um, you know, just, just double check to make sure the compartment size relative to the model that you're specifying. Um, but uh, yeah, they're not smart TVs just to give you flexibility with, it'd just be another thing to, to manage on that end, whereas you'd have flexibility with using a, a different device for that. Um, normal HDMI balance, burn up quickly here in Texas. I expect as such, um, you know, we haven't had really had issues with, with HDMI, you know, whether you put the balance in the waterproof compartment or with the ultra brights using the, the, um, the dedicated built-in, um, you know, receiver, it's, it's designed for that. Um, any spiffs, uh, reach out to me directly or, or your local rep. We can discuss that HDMI arc support. Um, that's something that might be different for per unit. Um, so what I'm going to do is send you my email. Oops. Sorry. So my email, I'll give you all my email. Um, Tony, try to type something in there, but and then bump me off. Tony B L at Sierra.com. So my last name is Blodgett. So T O N Y B as in Bravo, L as in Lima at S E U R A.com. You can email me directly or email your local rep through Bell and McCoy. Uh, any specific questions on things that I might not have answered. Um, just want to make sure that I'm giving you accurate answers on everything. So as we fine tune some of those questions. Um, and then Sierra.com, our website. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom at Sierra.com, you'll see a dealer resources on there. A lot of sales and administration and technical tools that, that you'll find very useful for that. So um, definitely always review that stuff because each model can be different with, uh, with some of the integration capabilities and all that. So that's what I'm seeing for questions. Any other questions at all? Beyond that, appreciate and Tony joining me. Yeah, what's up? Hey, um, if there are folks that want the presentation, uh, we can send it out. I'm guessing we can send it out to everybody that's on this webinar. Um, but yeah, Tony, you just give me the file and I can send it out. All right. You bet. Angie's Angie's already replied. She says send it. <laughs> so so yeah, just um. If you could just, uh, you can drop, we can, I can get the presentation for you and send it out. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll send that to James and get through him and yeah. Well, that, have some fun with it, you know, and you know, in these, these times, like I said, it's an opportunity to allow folks to enjoy their home. That's where they're at, um, both inside and outside the home. So, Thank appreciate you. it everyone. All right. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye.